So how do we adjust the size of a pattern? Welcome to another episode of Ask Me. So I get this question a lot. Many students email me and they say, how do I make my pattern bigger or smaller? How do, we, how do I expand my pattern? How do we increase the size of it or decrease the size of it? So it all starts with the center of the pattern, which is the apex, right? So we use a process called grading. Grading is when you take a size 8 and make it into a size 10, 12, 14, and so on, and decrease it size 6, size 4, size 2, and so on. Grading is a very precise technique, and it takes years to really uh, master the technique, and it's very complex. I'm not going to get into it right now. I'm just going to give you the general idea. If you can get this principle that I'm explaining to you, you can actually do it on your pattern without having to know grading down to the 16th of an inch. So, the center of the pattern is the apex. So, which means that everything expands from the apex. So, for example, let's say for the purpose of this exercise that we want to make the pattern one inch bigger all the way around. So from the center, right, what we do is this, this is center front. We will move center front in this direction, half inch, and the side seam in this direction, half inch, and half inch up and half inch down. Let me explain. So if we move center front half inch in this direction, and we move the side seam over half inch in this direction, and the waistline, again, same, same thing, half inch in this direction, and the shoulder, same thing. And then we have to adjust, you know, we have to uh, readjust the, the armhole and all that. But you see how we, we have expanded the size of our pattern. And to make it smaller, you do the same thing, only in the opposite direction. We make it, we bring it in uh, towards the center. So again, the apex is the center of your pattern. So everything starts from the apex, when you expand a pattern, when you increase the pattern, you go from the apex in all different directions. So if we added a half inch here, half inch, half inch, that's one inch, half inch and half inch, that's one inch, we made the pattern one inch bigger all the way around. Now this is a very general, very, very simple way of explaining the process of grading. Again, this is a very technical, very exact, very precise. Uh, technique so it takes time to learn it to master it to practice it so this is a general idea how to adjust the size of your pattern okay I hope this helps and email me your questions and I'll see you next time